Greetings YouTube friends. It's Joyce from Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead and today I was going to make my famous pumpkin bread for you but I decided I'm going to work on that either tomorrow or Friday. I wanted to sit and share with you instead. This being the month of Thanksgiving and with the wonderful thankful challenge that's been going around that I've so enjoyed, I wanted to just spend some time talking to you about thankfulness. I know that the year of 2020 has definitely been a year that's going to go down in history like no other. It's been a difficult year for a lot of us. Um, I won't say that, but there's so much that we still have to be thankful for. He gave us this year. He gave us each day that we woke up and took a breath. He gave us our gardens. He gave us our family. And for that, I am so thankful. I have to say that I am very thankful for this year. It was a time to stay home more, to spend more time with family. It was a time to just be a little bit more cautious and to think about things and to think about how relaxed we have become as a people and how we have taken for granted the fact that we have this freedom, that we have the freedom to just open our Bible, to go to church, to get in our car, to do whatever. And now that some of that has been restricted, all of a sudden we're going, oh, you know what? We need to realize that that is a gift that's been given to us and we should never, ever take that for granted. Oh, we have so much to be thankful for. He's given us this land that we live in and we need to do our part and show him how thankful we are and not take anything ever for granted. I just think that we've taken for granted the fact that our children, the ones that go to school and doing the Pledge of Allegiance and now that might be taken from us, the Ten Commandments are being taken out of buildings, all of these things that we just took for granted, the fact that we could go to church every Sunday, get in the car as a family and go to church and then all of a sudden you can't go. That was something, and I'm not saying that it wasn't a scary time. It's been a scary time for all of us, but it's been a time for us to reflect and to realize just how thankful we need to be. We still have a lot more freedom than a lot of countries do. We still have the fact that we can go to the grocery store. There's still food, and for those of us that live on a homestead, we're able to grow food. When there are people that live in apartment buildings that don't have that option, um, that we can raise animals and put meat in the freezer. The fact that um, we have our health, that is something to never take for granted because it can be gone tomorrow. So as I was thinking each day of what I'm gonna say that I'm thankful for, my thankful challenge, <laughs> there's so much. I am a very thankful person. I just love to say thank you. I am so thankful for everything, for each and every one of you. I'm so thankful for my family, for you know, just life in general, and that he's blessed us with this. So whenever I sit and think about what I'm gonna say for the next thankful challenge, I have to scratch my head and say, okay, just one thing, Joyce, don't, don't go on and on and on, because I could. I like to go around our circle driveway 10 times as a mile, and I would make that my thankful walk. And I haven't done it in a while, but I need to get back to it. And I would just, I could go the 10 laps and still be, going on and on about the things that I'm thankful for because there is so much. So don't ever, you know, think that 2020 was the worst year ever. It may have been difficult. I'm not going to say that. And a lot of people have lost loved ones because of this pandemic. And it's been hard. It truly has been hard. But we have to find the things in it that we can still be thankful for um, because there's so much. There was so much to still be thankful for. Sure. That little mask thing's no fun, and I'm a little rebel when it comes to that. I get very anxious, so I can't wear one. But, you know, if that's the worst thing, you know what? We still have food. We still have fresh air. We still have our roof over our head. We have our gardens. You know, there's still so much that was good in this year. So let us concentrate on that instead of concentrating on the bad of 2020. I see all these shirts with, you know, the pandemic, this was the worst year ever, this year goes down in history, and it does, but there was still more good that outweighed the bad. And I just think that if we can just think about that this month of Thanksgiving and um, <clears throat> just say how thankful we are 
for 2020 instead of how <laughs> unhappy we have been. Because truly, I've not been unhappy. There's been difficult things and we're still going through some very difficult times and we really do not know what the future holds. Our country is kind of, you know, hanging in the balance here, but it's our time to just tell him how thankful we are and to be praying that we continue to have the freedoms that we've so been blessed with. But anyway, I have gotten something in the mail and I thought I would open it with you, open it to get, we could open it together and show you what I got. It's from Sweet Pea Farms, they're in New York, and they won um, our seal meal on our 2,000 subscriber giveaway. Well, she sent me something to thank me for having gotten that. And I just thought, that is just so sweet. And her little note blessed my heart, and I'm gonna share it with you because I think it needs to be shared because it is so sweet. It says, Dear Jean and Joyce, thank you so much for my seal -a meal I can't wait to start vacuum sealing. I so enjoy your channel. You guys are so positive and kind. Thank you for sharing your journey. You brighten my week. I just wanted to send you a little pig ornament as a thank you for being you. I make these ornaments from my sheep's wool, so you'll have a little piece of sweet pea farm on your tree. God bless and happy holidays, Michelle from Sweet Pea Farms, New York. That just wants, gives me tears in my eyes. That is so sweet and thank you so much, Michelle from Sweet Pea Farms. And I'm gonna share it with everybody. I hope you didn't mind me reading your little letter. It blessed my heart and I just wanted to share it with everyone. She makes these and I'm just wondering, look how adorable that is can you see that it's made with wool from her sheep oh my word that is going to look so cute on our tree and i'm going to remember them by that every time and i'm just wondering i'm going to check with her and find out if these are uh, if she sells these and if so i will let you know and then maybe you can purchase some of these but it's so cute and I just want to say thank you to her. That just blessed my heart. There's, and again, guys, there's just so much that we can be thankful for this year. Um, and like I said, yes, there's a lot of uncertainties, but there's so much good that outweighs all of that. And I just wanted to share that with you, especially with Thanksgiving just around the corner and you know the little thankful challenge. I just wanted to challenge you to think outside the box and find things that you too can be thankful for and share with others. It seems that, you know, we get so bogged down with everything going on that our families weighed down because of all of this that we're so concerned about, we're so worried. You know what? I'm not at all worried if we can't get toilet paper. Again, the shelves are bare. <laughs> I'm not worried. My concern would be to have food for my family more than anything. But you know what? The Lord has provided. We got a deer so far and the boys are still out hunting. The garden did well. We put things away. And you know what? I still think there's going to be food. They say that it's going to be more serious in the European countries than it is here. But again, stock up a little bit if you can. But you know what? He's going to provide one way or another. And for that, I am very thankful. So. Uh, think outside the box. Think about things that you too are thankful for and share it with others. Share with those that are really struggling with all of this. Show them that it's okay. You know, we're there for one another. We're going to walk through this together and we're going to get through it. But to remember to always be thankful in everything you do. Start with Thanksgiving because you know what? It changes your whole perspective in the morning when you wake up. Thank him. Thank him for another day. Thank him for what's going to be happening that day. And you know what? The day will be so much brighter. But <laughs> I'm going to end for now. I was going to make the pumpkin bread, but I felt I just wanted to share a little bit of what I've been feeling and thinking about myself. I was sitting out in the sun, you know, soaking up some vitamin D this morning, and I thought, I need to share how 2020 has been a good year instead of just a bad year because there was so much that we still have to be thankful for and the year's not over with yet and we still have so much to be thankful for but I'm going to end for now 
Remember, continue to be positive. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God. But I'm going to end, and if you have not subscribed yet, we ask that you do so. Give us a thumbs up, guys. Ring that bell, and you will be notified when we have another video. Until next time, guys, God bless you.